What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on our free-to-play series, because so many people have been asking, like, Barry, where did the series go? It didn't really go anywhere, it's still chugging along, we're so, still slowly going through stuff, uh, we've had monthlies reset that we do need to try to complete out here, I need to do all my fusions, we need to do broken spaces, we even need to do super wishing coin event, which actually might be a good spot to start right here to make sure we don't mess up. Don't need Gloria. Maybe Tixes would be useful. So if we could hit a Tix, I thought we hit it. Could be good. If we see another flash, that is a good sign for us. But not going to happen. Nah. But it does give us some more heroic rolls. does give us some profit orbs. And it gives us all those monthly rewards, including gems. Now, I've been slacking a little bit because really... One of the biggest things that I'm getting annoyed at in the early game here is the fact that so much of your progress is gated behind your account level, and I'm only level 121. You can see right here, these are going to be like the most stages we can actually get done right here. It's just taking forever to gain experience because there's only one way to get it, and that is right here, this button. You only get what? 82 experience per eight, five seconds. Oh my gosh, we're still taking forever to get there. <sighs> And it's feeling absolutely horrible. So we do need to focus on food. However, remember at the holidays, we got a huge amount of crystals of transcendence. We might actually get there pretty soon because we're actually at the point. If you take a look, we have more. Oh, we have more stellar shards than food that we can actually handle right now. We do have tons of four stars. Need to grab some three stars out of the bag, make some stuff up. And I still think the goal on this account see what interstellar hunters patricia looks like as a first transcendence hero now i still think she can be an okay support to our main hero not nearly as good but there is a chance that like she can have some stunning going on and all that fun stuff so we're still going to go the normal route keep most of the power on our eloise and then move on from there however it's really been sad lately Almost every single event has been a spender event, minus, of course, the wishing coin one, which we only have 250. Meanwhile, we're sitting on 618 profit orbs, literally enough to get stuff done. And hopefully we have enough heroic strolls by anniversary for this to make a difference. Heck, we even have scattered spirit vein and divine or regular Aurora gems as well. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if we're even going to do any awakenings here this week, because if we take a look... Like, getting to 150 might not be that bad. But even then, that could be difficult because we still only have 1,000 Contract Starry Gems on this count. And that's mainly because I spent 2,500 Contract Starry Gems on something I probably shouldn't have. And that was a value package one week. It was, like, to a point where I could get an extra Sublimation Chest. And that was a decision I made because we have three Sublimation Chests. We have... Uh, one of the mini time kind of ones which are useless. We have half of a core of origin chest. Uh, and then a lot of our resources are just kind of sitting here being a little bit wasted. Just because, number one, we don't have tenants. We don't have heroes to build. There's just a lot of idling going on in the free-to-play world. In the early game, even as a spender, you hit a hard wall. Because you can't do anything on these heroes until you get to the void campaign and again this is the i think i talked about it like a month ago or something like this right here this level of my account is the one thing that's killing my enjoyment because we're already in tower of dreams we have sea land push to like 22 which is pretty solid we are in purgatory in aspen dungeon which are we even on the leaderboard anymore probably right we got to be somewhere up here have I actually beaten any waves? Maybe I haven't beaten a single wave. Oh, no. Maybe I might not be on the leaderboard here. Well, that's neither here nor there. Uh, and, yeah, we've been just pushing pretty much everywhere else. We have not pushed Void Vortex. But, again, we haven't really powered up our team to really make any bit of a difference. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here. And looks like my summoning list is full once again. Got to clear that out every single day for our dailies. I think what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to take the time. I'm going to go ahead, go through all of our dailies. We're going to do our broken spaces in a video. We're going to get our fusions done offline. Uh, even do the fighters competition because we are going to need more of those gems here. And I think we just keep trying to build food because even though we are on the brink of building our first transcendence hero, we don't even have the food to do it. 
We literally don't even have the food to do it. We, like, don't have dark food. I mean, we got the puppets and stuff, but it's not going to be enough. And at that, we only have four copies of Patricia. Thankfully, we can summon for her and the Prey event at Anniversary, which would be pretty cool. Uh, that'll give us more copies. But overall, I mean, we're sitting on Glorious Relics. We're sitting on... Uh, artifact chest. I just don't know exactly where to take this team. The only other thing I was considering is seeing how Patricia would be in the early game without Eloise. And I think that would be a huge mistake. But we could build like a Natalie. I mean, the biggest problem with her tenants, we could only build Gaggy and probably Natalie. But even then, if you take a look at our light uh, resources here, like... <laughs> We got what two natalie copies and that's it maybe more in the shard form and we don't have anything that we can build <sighs> i think i think those are the two things that really hurt the early game right now number one is the the lock on the campaign and number two is this system right here at this point i think they should let you pretty much put any hero you want in any slot make slot two and four the only two still that you can put a transcendence tenant in but it should be able to be any tenant because how fun would that be be able to pick any hero like all right i want i want to i want to build a betty account but you know what i want to go with betty i want a scarlet queen halora and i want a doppelganger natalia that would be lit instead of going for patricia and Arania, not exactly something you want. Or maybe it would make even some less traditional heroes like Gaggy even possible, depending on the team compositions you made. It would make probably Vulcan even stronger and compete with someone like Lord of Fear Aspen. But on our account here, if we are still going the Patricia route, not really looking that good. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep saving our resources. Uh, we do have a de decent amount of treasure train tickets, so we'll use those eventually. Uh, I think even our monsters are done on this account. Yep, monster is finished now, which we can build a second one if we want, but does it really matter? I don't know. We do get some rewards down here. Some gems are going to come in handy, which is awesome. Uh, what else do we have a ton of resources on? We actually have a lot of guild coins right now. And that might be one of our next projects is working on uh some guild tech like i think i was already working on mage it looks like yep to try to get the tenants up there uh probably work on ranger which yeah ranger works because we already have eloise as a ranger hero so yeah we have to see what we want to do i still don't have any plans just yet we are continuing to get guild treasure drain coupons it's just a very slow idle game right now and there's not much else we can do about it because it's kind of all we can do sit and wait and that's the most killer part about the early game nowadays. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Don't worry. I'm still playing the free-to-play account. It has not gone anywhere. There's just not much meaningful content to show you guys in a video. Maybe I'll do one weekly video on Thursdays to show you guys what we've done in the past week. And that way you can stay up with the account. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.